Mm. This is my wife. This is my wife. Mwah. And today we're eating Napa cabbage salad. Yes, and this is Napa cabbage with this wonderful color. Just amazing. Old fashioned pickled eggs. And baked potatoes with old fashioned duck scratchlings. Homemade. Everything homemade. So, let's get started. Pick a place and there we'll go. Welcome back. Hi. Hi. Yeah. And yes, this is I made those eggs and they are amazing. They're with um, mustard, you know, a lot of pickling spices and it smells. I need to smell it. Ooh. It's very nice with the potatoes. It's the pickleish. And we don't like pickling at all. Pickled stuff rock. Yeah, with juniper berries actually. Oh. Yeah. It's very old fashioned ones. And potatoes. Oh, I, can, I wish you can smell it and how beautiful and amazing it is. <laughs> I would love to have a lot of those. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you. And it's running. Yes. Mm. It is running. Running, running, running. There we go. Yeah, and it's very... A bit with salt. Yeah, it's a little bit with salt. Yeah. So Thank I you. made those eggs a few days ago. That's I really had... Cool. Yeah, I had to wait, probably in another couple of days it would be, would be even better, but I couldn't wait anymore. You know how I don't like eggs at all. No way. No. <laughs> if you don't know, seriously, that was a joke. She loves eggs. It's one of my favorite, all-time favorite foods. Mmm. Yeah, I found Napa cabbage in this color. It's such a beautiful color. Mm -hmm. It's so vibrant. It's like a beautiful bright spot in the middle of the winter. Winter. Mm -hmm. Let me have more salt. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. I have to try the egg. Try. The egg well, and you see the color, the bright yellow color, it's always plus. Mm. I love it so much. I saw a recipe of pickling, um, not just eggs, pickling, um, isn't it? Oh, this is so cool. I think if you put those eggs in potato salad, it will be just amazing. Way better than them. Okay. Look at that one. I think next time when you get eggs, you should still pickle more eggs and we'll do it in potato salad. Mm -hmm. And you really taste the pickleness. It's, it's really, I love it. Isn't it wonderful? Because I, I got so tired of, you know, taking hard boiled eggs to work. Yeah. I even stopped doing this for a while because I, I can't eat any more hard boiled eggs. But this is awesome. This is an awesome twist to the eggs. Oh, yeah? Love you it. love it? I love it. Awesome. So I need to make more. You definitely do. I made a small jar because I totally wasn't sure how good they're going to be. It's fabulous. And in potato salad with celery and stuff, obviously potatoes. I don't think potato salad is all the regular stuff. Mm -hmm. Imagine. But the pickleness is awesome. I'm watching a lot of homesteaders, steaders videos like how they can, how they preserve the old fashioned way. And I came across how they preserve eggs for the winter. Because in winter the chickens lay less eggs. So and it was it's so amazing. And 
I saw a couple of different uh, video recipes on um, pickling eggs, and I think, aha! Need to that is it. awesome. Mm -hmm. Just a second. Someone came. I'm bad. He just came from um, his body. His body. Let me see your sweetness. Mm. Mm. And those um, scratchings are fabulous. We love, 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 love them. Mm -hmm. I'm um, I'm buying um, not goose duck, duck uh, fat and skin. Then I'm cutting in the middle and I'm rendering the fat. The best rinds ever. Is it? Thank you, honey. You can call them rinds, right? I think so. I, you know what? I would love to have homestead, but I understand that the part of gardening and maybe taking care of animals day in and day out, it's not my case. We need, I need, I need someone like another family that will do that and I will process and cook and uh, store and uh, can all the food. Yeah. I totally dig it because I'm, a, I'm the same. I love gardening and taking care of animals every day is definitely too much. My liking. But definitely, um, but we love to preserve for the winter and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like we can sit for hours and Cut stuff, do this. Yeah, thank you. And, yeah, to help. That's what. That's what I was my. Yeah. So I'm so so proud of this recipe. Actually, I need to do it on a little bit more bigger scale next time. Mm -hmm. Like this time, I made only how many? Six, seven, six or seven eggs, and that's it. And uh, next time, I will make definitely more. I think I will buy separate. We buy uh, eggs from uh, local um, farms, and they come in, uh, you know, in count of thirty. Yes. So, so that's what I'm saying. You probably need to buy a separate one just for your pickling purposes. purposes. Yeah. Yeah, and I will make you know huge jar. I will buy more more vinegar. Yes. That's a cool idea about homesteading. If someone else would grow this, again, we can help to take care of animals, obviously. Mm, yeah. Gardening, not so much. Kind of allergic to stuff. Yeah, but if I would stuck, you know, for days in, days out in the processing room. Oh, we love that. I would love it. You know, <laughs> anything from uh, can your own meat, um, stock, you can can stock, you can can. Uh, and we're two of us, mm -hmm. into canning and preserving. We like them. We're awesome. We rock. Mm -hmm. We always rock. Yeah. We have a rhythm and we have total understanding and we all we work so well. We can process so many foods in once that it's just unbelievable. And it would be definitely awesome for two families. Totally. Now, does that mean we're open for adoption? Mm-hmm. I bet. <laughs> and I don't mind to bake a bread now. Oh, no. And a sourdough That's and all fun. of this good stuff. There you go. To make sauerkraut. To make um, on, on alcohol cordial and so on. Yeah. More? Yeah, and you should see, when we made um, alcohol cordial for, um, you know, the cherries, the little cherries that grow on trees. And I would pick every one of those, uh, not cherries, plums. plums. Well, cherries too. When we but did cherries, plums. I pitted the cherries as well. Mm -hmm. But even the plums, you know, the small, small plums, and I would pit all of them. 
It was like a whole <laughs> major production. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. But again, we don't mind that. I actually enjoyed our period of time. Mm -hmm. I would love to have a big... You know, about a couple of families that everyone has their own, like some of them will do the meats and some of them will do the vegetables and we will do the processing. Because there are a lot of people who love to grow stuff, but they don't really like to can and they, they don't know, stuff. they're afraid and they don't know how. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, this is so good. I love the purple. Napa cabbage. It's Napa so cabbage. I know, and it's, this salt is so amazing. And it's regular Napa, like you can do regular Napa cabbage. Asian green onion, I mean chives. It's a flat chives, but you can use regular chives or green onion, doesn't really matter. A little bit of white onion, like the regular one that I'm using. Lime. Olive oil, salt, and pepper. That's it. Lime? Lime. Mm. It's really good with lime. Mm. So, Chinese celery as well. Oh, that's important. Mm -hmm. And it tastes so good. You know what? I might even like it more than lettuce. Really? Sometimes. I like the. You fixed yourself. Oh, you know, I love my lettuce. I know I do. But I love the curly parts. The curly parts are amazing. But uh, yeah, I love the, um, the crispy parts as well. They're good. Mm -hmm. The curly ones have this texture to them. I love their texture. I know one thing that. I found that if I buy Napa cabbage, like one Napa, Napa cabbage, pretty big one, it will last me way longer than um, than any lettuce because it's way denser. It's way denser. Lettuce is all poofy, mm -hmm. but that's it. This one is what you see is what you get. Lettuce, if you take, press it. You know, when you when I cut my lettuce for the salad very thinly, you hold it and it's like... Eh. This one, it was a half of this small Napa cabbage. I mean, really small. And this is only half of it. So, it's funny because um, if I would do the same lettuce amount, it will be a half, like third amount of... Um, the salad. Salad. That is your potato, honey. Oh, I'm good, thank No more potato? Mm-mm. I can have it. I know. I want another apple. I have. I'll give you the. Um... No, that's it. That is good. Thank you, Anya. Thank you. Nice having business with you. Um. The egg is fabulous. Really like it. Another egg, Anya? No, two eggs for me is good, but they're really pretty good. They're amazing. Three eggs is a bit uh, exactly what I like. <laughs> no, I need for, for sure to make pretty. more. Yeah, her salt is almost gone. Thirty eggs, no, thirty eggs uh, pickled eggs I need to make. They said, make sure to buy extra. Because if you pick up them right, they can be in your refrigerator for a couple of weeks easily, if not months. Really? Mm hmm. Wow. It's one of the ways to preserve eggs for winter. And people did it for hundreds of years. 
Yeah, because now you can get anything, but still. Well, I did see pickled eggs, even not in the refrigerator in Costco. But I'm sure they add some stuff to it, isn't it? Wonder? Sugar. Oh. Um, for this amount of bread, I've added half a teaspoon of sugar. But half a teaspoon of sugar, it's not exactly um, nothing. A huge amount of um, no. you know, sugar. No, it's definitely not. You want more salad? Just a bit. Oh. Promise, just a tiny bit. More? Yeah, that's it. Oh, I love all. I love those crispy parts, you know? Okay, thank you, honey. Mm. Yeah, thank you, Yeah, so this, like, I found that if, if I buy one, ex, uh, one big one of um, Napa cabbage, it lasts me at least for a week, sometimes more, two weeks. And it holds excellent in the refrigerator. And it's purple. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. St <laughs> Actually, at, at the house I have the normal one too, but I couldn't um, not to buy this one. No, until when you bought it home, mm -hmm. I've never seen purple. You know what? The guy that I'm buying from, mm -hmm. and the first time in his life that he see purple too. Oh, never saw this. Oh. He ordered book choy and he got the purple one instead of the white one and he even didn't know that he was going to get it. Can I do something really naughty? Mm -hmm. I knew it. I don't want the whole one, but that piece looked so good in your plate. It's okay. We do that. Oh. I tried very hard usually not to do it on camera though. Oh good girl. I love her apples. I'm always taking her pieces of apples. Always. Her family could always do it. I don't know why. I always like apples from someone else's plate. And it started when I was young, I mean, from my mom, probably, and etc. From my brother, play. It's nice with someone else. Mm -hmm. Tastes good. Mm -hmm. mm. Those eggs, though. Oh my god. So delicious. Mm hmm. And those uh, scratchlings, as you call them, it's excellent <laughs> that I made them. And then that come, I'll call them rinds. They're so tasty. I know you like it. This is our last package. This is one of the last package, yeah. Again, it's one of those things that we're not filming a lot. You know them, that's just, we're just doing them. Mm. Not often. Mm -mm. Mm. But when it is, it's like a little celebration. Mm. You know what recipe I saw as well with the eggs? Mm. Pickled sausages. The pickled sausages? They take the same brine and pickle their sausages. I'm okay. I would love to taste, taste it. Okay, we have sausages? <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> Voila! Voila! <laughs> It's no problem. If you're curious about something you know, want to experiment, go for it. Yeah, like it's just interesting that people, what people, uh, people pickle. But it's logical though. Think about but it. I like like hot dogs. If, if you though? take hot dogs, yeah, hot dogs, hot dogs type of sausages. They. I'm not sure if it's hot. What's the logic of pickling them? Let's go hundred years. No, fr no refrigeration. No refrigeration, and you need to preserve somehow your food and the eggs and. Um, Sausages needs to be preserved. But their sausages were so good that you can buy certain sausages and you don't even have to keep them in the fridge. 
Yeah, I know. They packed them with enough preservatives. I know. But you know what? That's what it is. It's some healthy curiosity. Try it. Go for it. What the worst thing can happen? You won't like it? Oh, big deal. Yeah, true. But you know what? I think she will. Like it? Of course. And it's a pickled uh, shrimp, which I think this is amazing. Yeah, yeah. but like uh, when we eat shrimp, we like to put lots of lemon lots on of it. Lemon. So, so I think pickled shrimp will be very, very good if it's pickled, pickled right, the right way. Yeah, as long as it's not too vinegary, I think that's what it is. Mm, this is this is hundred percent vinegar, so I would say I'm not sure. But for the shrimp, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. It seems like it's going to work. I don't know. I need to try. Experiment. Those Enjoy. Try. Yeah. So I think we will finish for today. That okay. was so good. Thank you, honey. You're so welcome. You're so You're the best. And you know, as usual, don't forget to subscribe, write us a comment, thumbs up, us and cheese. Love, love and life. And remember, and remember, go towards your joy and experiment something if you want every day. Like with food. Yeah. Surprise yourself. Do something different. You might enjoy it. Yeah. Be open-minded. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.